This tweet that you see right here is from Cat Tenbarge attacking me. Unknowingly, this kitty cat entered the lion's den. Guess what happened next? up everyone it's me steph the alter nerd your nerdy alternative and welcome to another dose of the daily nerd where i break down the news and pop culture stories of the day that's pretty much got me eye and oh my goodness cat little question for you last night what went through your mind when you thought it was the best idea in the whole wide world to come after me on twitter and attack me what the deuce lass she really turned this into a cat and badge versus Steph the Alton Nerd situation. Literally, the kitty cat entered the lion's den. And, um, yeah, how did that turn out, Father? Oh, I'm gonna give you all the details. Before I do so, though, a little bit of housekeeping. Firstly, YouTube human reviewer. I see you lurking. I'm not going to say any trigger words or anything that's going to offend your ear holes. And to everyone else awesome enough to have clicked on this video, hi, welcome, how you doing? If you love this kind of news and pop culture on the daily served with a little bit of sass and gobbiness, do make sure you click on that subscribe button for more. Like, share, comment down below your opinion, conspiracy theories, whatever. Also as well, for your consideration, if you would like to send some kitty bucks my way then you do have the option of the super thanks which is just below this video here again for your consideration with that being said though oh let's really jump into this shall we so last night over on popcorn planet we were streaming the usual pop culture justice live show and um this happened so there must have been at some point beforehand a little bit of a back and forth between andy and cat because andy had responded at some point saying this the irony of you calling out youtubers these in uh, on a live horse when you keep attacking the actual survivor johnny depp instead of writing about actual news today like kanye or amaranth no one actually supports this bs amber 2.0 narrative but journalists trying to make it a thing now cat Dembarge responds she quotes him first off by saying no one actually supports this BS Amber 2.0 narrative. She then adds her two cents to this, which is a person who created the narrative. And she drops what she considers is a receipt. Laughable. And let me explain why. So the receipt that she drops is a video that Andy did four months ago titled Shady. Uh, Angelina Jolie using Amber Heard tactics against Brad Pitt. Celebrity divorce lawyer reacts. Now, why I'm saying that this receipt is laughable is that if she actually did her journalistic duty and actually went into the source material to find out what it was all about, like get the full context of it all, she would have found out that at no way during that a video that Angelina Jolie was actually called the new Amber Heard or Amber Heard 2.0 or anything of that particular description. But no, let's judge a book by its cover, shall we? Now, it went a little bit more back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Until then, she decided, completely unprovoked, mind you, because I was out of it, to attack yours truly. Me. Here we go. So she says this. You should tell your co-host to stop making the comparison if you're against it. And the titles of these videos speak for themselves. Mwahahaha. Yeah, evil laugh, you know, inserted at the end for comedic effect, of course. Now, what's the receipt that she drops from my video library? And again, I say receipt as like her laughable moment here this one so this was a stream that i did a month ago and the title of it was leaked photos the new amber heard Are angelina jolie's booze is real did brad pitt attack her now again similar to andy's 
if she actually investigated the source material that she was quoting and actually watched it, she would have found out that in no way, shape or form did I actually call Angelina Jolie the new Amber Heard, Amber Heard 2.0 or anything of that particular description. I did ask, could she be? But then if she went through the stream, she would have actually found out that my analysis of all the evidence that Angelina Jolie had leaked or whatever, let's say, to the public was absolutely balanced. And I came to the conclusion that at this point, there is no evidence out there at this stage that allows me to be like, I am team Pitt or I am team Jolie for want of a better phrase for something like that, right? Actually, I turned around and said, I don't know, I'm on the fence. Now, aren't I allowed to ask questions? Is Angelina Jolie the new Amber Heard? I'm only asking a question, but I'm not actually calling her that. And I never did during that stream. But yes, again, journalistic ethics. Let's judge a book by its cover, shall we? Oh, guys, I went off. Why? Let me explain. So, Firstly, okay, how dare she, right, instruct, demand, in my opinion, conspiracy theory or whatever, a man, Andy, to come to me, a woman, and tell me what to do with my own channel. Are you kidding me? You can bog off with that one, cat. It ain't happening. Second thing, she's attacking me. Now, let me explain to you the gravity of that situation. Okay. I have been absolutely open about this. 100%. Okay. I am a survivor of SA. Repeated SA. I have been open. I've been honest. The truth of the matter is I am part of the survivorship community. I actually went through that. So let me put it to you this way. What she did here is not only attack me, but she attacked me, who is a survivor of SA. When her hypocritical backside, right, is all about Oh my goodness, I'm an ally to the survivorship community. I defend the survivorship community. When in actual fact, what she's doing here is attacking a member of the survivorship community. Me. And, um, yeah, I ain't taking that shiz lying down. And I when in in and let me put it to you this way right hopefully she's learned a lesson hopefully and if she ever thinks ever thinks of wanting to attack me again like this I'll come back at her twice fold. I will not take any prisoners. I will defend myself. No matter who you are, I do not care. I did nothing wrong. And for her to turn around and say, I am a defender of the survivorship community. I am an ally for survivors, this, that, and the other. Whilst in the same breath, attacking me, a survivor, someone who is part of the survivorship community, that is a survivor of SA. No, 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 no. I do not take that BS lying down, and I will call you out for that. So hopefully, she's learned a lesson. And she won't be looking in my direction again and think, do you know what? I think it's a 
best idea in the whole wide world to go after Steph the Alton Nerd and attack her. Because I'm not afraid to fight back and defend myself. It is as simple as that. I don't care if you're a big wig freaking NBC journalist of the world. You attack me, unprovoked, mind you. Get ready, because I will bring down all holy fire rain on your backside. And last night, believe it or not, was a little bit of a taster. If she ever dares, thinks that she has the right to attack me unprovoked ever again, a survivor of SA. Don't you dare. Don't you freaking dare, cat. You had. No idea that you were entering a lion's den. Now you know. Be aware. And be aware. Now. The best thing about all of this was your guys' support. Oh my goodness. You guys. Thank you. And I mean that from the bottom of my heart. Thank you. Because if she goes onto uh, this thread, she's going to see comments like this. Oh, these comments make me smile. Thank you so, so much. Now, as I read out these comments, Am I encouraging you to do this? No. I am just recognizing that this happened. Thank people for their support and read out what was said in this comment thread. But I'm not encouraging you to attack her or anything like that, okay? Simple as. But these are the comments that are on there. So, uh, at Julia Guthrie 19 says, Cat is a fake coward and a liar who deserves as little airspace as AH and all the other nasty monsters. If only people would just realize that all these people thrive on the attention. Turn your backs, people. Turn your backs. Um, these are all their opinion conspiracy theories, whatever's as well. Uh, at Inga Joland says, that's the part I really hate about this whole thing. I know that some survivors support her and I leave them alone. I can't speak to their feelings or say that they're wrong in their feelings. But when they don't show depth support as the same courtesy, that's not okay. Uh, at Little Miss Jacob says, I noticed you didn't link your channel. Makes it easier when people reading can't even fact check. Yeah, aren't you supposed to, you know, label where you get your sources from, Kat? Isn't that like another kind of like journalistic ethic rule that you guys have to follow? Yeah, just a, another question for you to ponder the answer to. Who knows? Who am I? I didn't go to journalist, uh, journalistic, journalist school. Can't even get my teeth in right now uh, <laughs> and speak properly. Oh, my goodness. But here we go. At Sandra Depar, just simply writes, she is toxic. Now, here's someone here uh, at Eve Akpos that says, look, you and that quack divorce lawyer, which, by the way, Mr. Christopher Melcher, right, is not a quack, okay? He is like one of the top respected divorce lawyers. He has repped some high profile highly powerful individuals right he knows his shiz he is no quack so let's correct the record there shall we but anyway uh you invite on your show have been pushing that narrative why lie 
Watch the video. Watch the video. Uh, Ezekiel Crow at Vintage Crow Stew One says, No, he actually hasn't, but nice try in twisting a narrative for an agenda. So I loved it. There were people that tried to twist a narrative, and someone came in and was like, No, old horses, you're wrong. That ain't the freaking reality of the situation. What are the deuce are you talking about? Talking out of your backside as such. Um, so, uh, Reese Jackson, um, a replies to Kat saying, uh, do you have to continue having a Twitter gasm over Andy? I've checked everything you say about him and you're a liar. Are you a journalist or a troll? I really can't tell. I would say that's a fair question, wouldn't you? Kat, are you a journalist or a troll? Let me know in the comments down below. Uh... <laughs> Um, David, uh, Knight David 797 says, uh, going after Steph the Alter Nerd when Steph says in on her videos that she's on the fence when it comes to Brad Pitt, Angelina Jolie, she means it. And Kat, not watch Steph's video, there's something wrong with her job as a journalist. Uh, Reese Jackson says, she's the type that comments on headlines without reading the article. Uh, Stephanie Harrington says, speaking nothing but the truth, Reese. She keeps coming after him with lies after lies. Uh, now, someone here uh, at Kelkel underscore X says, ignore everything from Signor. You guys came in and was like, no, 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 you're wrong. Uh, at Val Thornton 59 says, hello, she's the liar. Go watch yourself. And at USSJ for Brawley, turns around and says, Andy didn't ignore anything. Like, dude, what are you talking about, Vitamin K? What are you talking about? Um, so, Sonny Willow, this was a good one, says, stop trying to compare that narrative, not Andy. Uh, sorry, let me read that again. I went a little bit skiffy on that one. Uh, Sonny Willow says, stop trying to compare AJ to AH. It's you that's pushing that narrative, not Andy. The only people I've seen mention that is so-called journalist for major media outlets. I wonder who she's talking about there. Don't you, Kat? Uh, at Kat, uh, Randy O'Brien, uh, forward slash Twitch Parage replies to Kat saying, since you identify as a journalist and therefore don't do any actual research, let me do it for you. Defamatory. Adjective. Of remarks, writing, etc. Damaging the good reputation of someone. Slanderous or libelous. A defamatory allegation. And at Sandy D's note says, same school of journalism as Eve Carla. Oh. Oh, you guys crack me up. You crack me up. Uh, Dame Deborah of Plague, Plague Island says, how are you a journalist, especially for NBC at NBC News? Oh, that's a fair question, I would say. Uh, Stumpy2121 says, whoa, this isn't even a case of two people seeing something differently. Ah, Kat Fembaj is straight up lying here. Pretty lame Ah, And this I get, this is a little bit of British humour. So from all my UK represents out there, uh, 51st State, brilliant, brilliant, brilliant meme here. Andy, ask Steph, she'll understand the reference. Uh, this is old school Big Brother, um, and uh, this lady here, she goes into the Big Brother, like, chair, like, confessional room with the camera and everything, one-on-one, -on -one, and she's like, like, she's like this. Who is she? Who is she? Who is she? And she goes in. Oh, it glorious. It was a glorious, like, uh, reality TV, epic, classic moment. It was, it was insanely good and still is to this day. Uh, but with that being said, yeah. Uh, Kat Tembaj created a cat versus Steph the alternate situation. She started it. I damn well finished it. And you guys, your support meant 
everything to me. So thank you, thank you so, so much. Uh, again, as a disclaimer, by going through those tweets, I am not in any way, shape or form uh, asking you to go over and attack her or give her any grief, this, that and the other. Far from it. Uh, I was just reporting on what your guys' reactions were to her as all this was going down last night. And uh, yeah, it wasn't pretty for her. I think it was a little bit of a bloodbath. Like I said, the kitty cat entered the lion's den. And uh, yeah, I don't think she'll be doing that anytime soon, he thinks. With that being said, though, enough with my gobs. It's time for your gobs. Comment down below your opinion, conspiracy theories, whatever's. Also, as well, if you appreciated this video and you want more, uh, do make sure you, you know, do me a solid here. Click on that subscribe button, like, share, comment down below as ever your opinion, conspiracy theories, and whatever's. And until the next time, you guys. Laters!